Hey Grayson, happy Saturday. Uh, if you're taking my 930 class on Saturday, uh, I'll go over all these movements, but if you wanna know what you're getting yourself into, just pay attention for the next couple minutes. I'm gonna go over them as well as give you some pointers. Uh, no guarantees that what I say now is exactly the same as what I say tomorrow morning, uh, but hopefully it is. Okay, so today we have a little bit longer of an endurance workout as we've been doing on Saturdays. Big fan of them. 14 rounds alternating every two minutes and 15 seconds. So do the math, that's over 30 minutes. It's gonna be a little bit of a sweat, uh, which is awesome. So the first <clears throat> set of movements that we're gonna be alternating between is 12 single arm dumbbell floor press. I know a lot of you guys have dumbbells, kettlebells, plates. We'll go over a couple different options that you can use for these floor press. Uh, but you know, we're gonna use it, our, our chests today a little bit and we're gonna use some of that unilateral strength. With those 12 single arm dumbbell floor press, we also have four Turkish get-ups. So these are not Turkish sit-ups, these are actually Turkish get-ups. We started to get into these uh, when we were in the gym, you know, late last year, early this year. Uh, we're bringing those back so we don't forget them. A little bit more technical of the movement, but I wanna go over how that can be a little bit easier, or at least easier to remember for you. That'll be alternating with this triplet. So this triplet, a little bit of a core burner, 24 plank marches, 12 sit-throughs, and 18 side bridges. So again, some of these newer movements uh, coming through, but hopefully you'll be able to move through them well, uh, and we'll have some option, other options for you if, if you can. So these 14 rounds alternating every two minutes, 15 seconds, I would definitely cap yourself at about two minutes. What that means is if you need to take some of the reps down on either one of these, take some of those reps down. You can pull out a few reps off of these Turkish get-ups, like one or two of the reps, and then a couple of these reps off the side bridges just to keep under that 215 cap. Um, I don't expect it takes many of you much more than that, but um, if you need to look for places to trim off, that's where I would start. Otherwise, tomorrow morning, if you're on my class, we can talk about that as well. Okay, so starting with these single arm dumbbell floor press. So I think a lot of you have dumbbells. You just need one for this. Um, you can also use a plate, but that's probably gonna be more like double arm. If you have really good balance, you could do a single arm. You can also use a kettlebell for those floor press. You can use your Tito's bottle. I actually got this for the Turkish getup because some of the dumbbells that you guys may have picked up uh, might be a little bit heavy for these, especially if it's one of the first times you're doing them. So starting with the single arm dumbbell floor press, we're just gonna lay back on the floor. Doesn't really matter what you do with your legs. Just make sure they're comfortable. You try and keep that back nice and flat against the floor, just like if we were doing a tuck crunch. And then we're gonna do Six on one side, switch over, six on the other side. Now, for these Turkish get-ups, my number one tip is to always be looking at your dumbbell or your kettlebell. So, if we're starting on the right side, we have our right leg up, just like this, and then we have that dumbbell extended. Notice how I'm always looking at this. So, we're going to come up to our elbow, to our arm, swing that leg around to our knee, and then stand up just like that. Then we're going to return back down, going to our knee, to our arm, swinging that leg through, and then back down. Notice I didn't take my focus off of the dumbbell the entire time. If this is a newer movement for you, you might wanna go a little bit lighter. So if you have lighter dumbbells, that's great. If you have a lighter kettlebell, that's great. Otherwise, you can use any sort of object like a Tito's bottle, or um, a bottle of wine, or whatever. Laundry Same detergent. Idea. What's that? Laundry detergent. Laundry detergent will work too. I, this just happened to be closer, and it's Friday, so it was at top of mind. Same idea with that, for that Turkish uh, get up. So now we have these 24 plank marches, 12 sit-throughs, 18 side bridges. Plank marches, we've all done these, pretty straightforward. We want to get into a plank position and then reaching out, keeping that torso nice and straight, just like so. Notice how I'm not swaying up like that, fighting to stay straight. 
these sit throughs, these may be a little bit newer of movement for you guys. Um, I don't think we've done them in the gym setting, but we may have done them in one of the workouts before. So um, if it's a new, if it's a new movement for you, just kind of pay attention how you're going to sit through. If you watch the Brazen Battle, I know that uh, Courtney and Tag did these, um, so you'll you'll remember that there. But we want to essentially start in a bear crawl, and then we are going to sit all the way through. So I'm going to lift up this arm, bring my leg all the way through like that. Just like so. So you have 12 of those, six on one side, six on the other side, alternating in between. And then finally, these 18 side bridges, you can either do extended arm plank or come down to your forearm. And then the side bridge is just going to be bridging up, driving your hips up as high as possible, and then letting them sag down, and then fighting to drive them up. You should feel that right in here on the inside of your core, and this will give you a nice little burn. So again, I will see you guys at 9.30 on Saturday. Um, if you need any modifications or anything like that, just reach out. Hopefully you guys enjoy this workout, and I will either see you on Zoom tomorrow, or I will talk to you throughout the week. Have a great weekend.